Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'll be showing you how to pair your Bluetooth keyboard. Oops, that was cool. How to pair your Bluetooth keyboard, like I've got one here. How to pair this one, which actually came with my iMac, this Bluetooth keyboard, or any other Bluetooth keyboard for that matter, to your iPad. So uh, here we go, let's go on and get started. So well, first of all, I'm going to move this camera up here a bit closer so you can actually get a view in on the iPad. But so here it is. Uh, you obviously have to go into your settings. Hit general Bluetooth and turn on your Bluetooth. I'm, what I'm going to do, do is I'm going to have to do this fast. I'm going to have to try this a few times because it's supposed to go to my iMac first. And I'm trying to beat my iMac to it, so we'll see if this works. I'm going to turn on the keyboard by hitting the power button. And there it is. I hit pair. Oh, I got the first try. Okay, now it's going to say enter this pass key. So I'm going to hit, it's going to be seven, four. Let me get the keyboard in the shot here, shall we? Uh, seven caught the camera oops we're, but we will go on we're not gonna seven four so we got seven oh I didn't get it in time see what you guys make me do we're gonna try this again okay so let's try this again here uh, so we got six two uh, can't see nine eight seven one and it says hit enter or turn on your keyboard and now it's connected. And it's basically that simple. Once you do that, you're pairing, you're good to go. So now we can basically start typing. So I'm going to close out here. And the first thing you'll notice is if I go over here to search, the keyboard does not pop up whatsoever. So I can start typing, uh, in there, I'm typing goo. Right, let's see what I got here. I can hit the eject key on my keyboard, which is right over here. This key right here, I hit the eject key. And it'll actually pop the keyboard up for me to use any special char characters that don't actually, are actually not on my iPad or on my keyboard. And I can actually type. So if I go something like pages, and we can create a new document. Oops. Create a new document. I can pick a template. So I can write, write me a letter or a resume right from here. I'm just going to blank for this one. And so we can start typing. So if I pick up my keyboard here and move this closer, you can actually see what I'm typing. And this is actually really nice because it's kind of hard to type on the on-screen keyboard, you know, that's this big. I mean, it's it's pretty good. Uh, I mean, Apple has a really good keyboard, but for typing anything in a few sentences, it becomes really hard to do. So I can go on and I can show you what we can do here. So I can say, hello, YouTube. What's up? I don't know if I have any misspellings there, period. One thing I don't like so far is that it doesn't auto-capitalize anything. So, if it's the beginning of a sentence, if I got the key, the actual keyboard up, it looks like it'll auto-capitalize. But if I close out the keyboard, it won't auto-capitalize. So, A. And it doesn't auto-capitalize anything. So, as you can see here, I started a new sentence, and it doesn't do anything. So, Hello, I think, and it didn't know how to capitalize the I, and that gets on my nerves. And, and, and that misspelling right there is another thing. The only way to do, the only way to correct your misspellings is actually go up there and cap the letter or the word and then think. And I missed it that time, so I'm gonna have to go in here and try it again. And it just becomes really hard to edit text sometimes because there we go. Now I finally got it. So now I can keep typing. One thing I really like is you can use some of the keyboard shortcuts you're used to on your Mac. So if I hold down shift right here, I can actually just start highlighting text. And it's just that easy to start highlighting text where I can say hold down option and shift and start highlighting individual words. Or I can hold down command and shift and highlight the entire thing. And that becomes really nice. And uh, supposedly, let's see here, it didn't work for me last time. We'll try it. If I hit command V, it's supposed to bold, but it doesn't do that for me anymore. Like it has something to do with pages itself. But this is basically it. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, but real quick, let me show you. Well, actually, no, I believe that's it. Uh, I believe that is it. So, uh, see you later, YouTube. You have a great day. So, basically, this will work on your iPad. Uh, for iPhone OS 3 or iOS 3, it will not work. But for uh, iOS 4, you will be able to pair your Bluetooth keyboard like this one that came with my iMac to my uh, iPad 
or to your iPhone, excuse me. So I, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you later, YouTube. You have a great day.